Hello, my name is Professor Alan Young and I work in the School of Academic Psychiatry at the Institute of Psychology, Psychiatry and Neuroscience at uh, King's College London. My presentation uh, will be about bipolar disorder and about a paper that has changed my practice. Uh, bipolar disorder, uh, as many of you will know, is a common, complex and costly mood disorder. Uh, the classic study by Kathleen Merrick Angus from NIMH published in 2007 in the Archives of General Psychiatry showed that bipolar 1 the subtype characterized by mania has a lifetime prevalence of about 1%. Bipolar 2, the subtype characterized by uh, hypomania, both types having depression, of course, again about 1% lifetime prevalence. And subsyndromal subtypes, about uh, another 2.5%. Now, although mania and hypomania characterize bipolar 1 and bipolar 2, the predominant burden of the disease is bipolar depression. And up until um, very recently, this century, we had very limited therapeutic options for uh, bipolar depression. We had lithium, of course, we had ECT, um, we had, to some extent, anticonvulsants like lamotrigine, but really we had no evidence for antidepressants and there's still no evidence for antidepressants being helpful. The paper I'm going to talk about really introduced a new class of treatment, uh, quetiapin, the atypical antipsychotic, which I think alone amongst the uh, antipsychotics has really very good evidence of being beneficial for bipolar depression. And I will discuss how this changed our practice. 